I've had a, early on in my career and different things. I thought that I've been served. Uh, the critics have, have have been very kind to me throughout my career. I, I don't I don't know. Maybe they've been more kind to now. I don't know. <laughs> Am I bobbing up and down a lot? See that? <laughs> Those guys like Dan Aykroyd and Robin Williams. I mean, they're really How quick. How about dancing tango in the movie? How you learn to dance tango? The tango? Yes. Uh, the tango was finally choreographed, and I, 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 I spent many, many hours and days and weeks just learning that, 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 that little dance. And that's what I did. You practice, you know, you just, you hope you can get the right teachers and the good ones, and I had the good ones, and they helped me. Yeah, and you had two roles. I'm excited, sorry? Two really big good parts. Roles. Yeah. Yeah, they were good parts. They were called, you, you call them actor proof, actor proof parts. I mean, in, in, our, in our parlance, you know. And this, these, the part in Glenn, Gary Glenn Ross, uh, which was done so brilliantly by Tony, uh, 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 Joe Montagna on Broadway in the theater, it's, it's, just a, it's, a, it's a, a mammoth. When you play mammoth, you know, you're, you're sort of halfway there because he's, he's such a great writer. And that was a great role, and I'm very happy I, I got a chance to play it. And then Scent of a Woman, of course, you know, this, these kind of ca characters that come along rarely, you know, and you, when you get a chance to play that, it's, um, it's, it's rare, rarely, rare. Yeah, I heard, I was, uh, I was looking at a TV and, uh, the, yeah, it's great. It's just great. It's a surprise and I'm happy for, for everyone. Oh, no. <laughs> The tux. Are you going to prepare something a little bit more just in case? You know, I tell you, I got, you get an idea of what you're going to say, you know, you, you get some idea of it, and, and, and I think uh, you just then get up there and see what happens. But I don't know what happened, though, you know, and after it's over, you don't know. You so. I think it's a lot to do with being used to it. Now, if you're used to getting awards and things, or being at these functions, I would, I would imagine you acquire a, a more of a, a you know, a, aptitude and you, you, you're able to do it. Boy, I'm dull. Are you getting <laughs> <laughs> what does this award mean? I've been listening to uh, Al Pacino and uh, I'm going to flip over here. My next part? And uh, David Sheehan from KNBC here in uh, Los Angeles. You've covered a lot of these things. Were there any surprises tonight? I think the whole thing was a surprise. This was supposed to be a big celebration of a few good men and, and instead it's a celebration of a few good smells with the scent of a woman. Three, three awards. But I think the biggest surprise was Gene Hackman. A, a funny thing happened to me. This is a very unusual thing. Wait a minute. I saw an exchange of money. What was that all about? Now, it was not a bribe. <laughs> I am a critic, and I have my integrity. But as he was walking in from the parking attendant out front, I said, Hey, Hackman, you're it tonight. I bet you're going to win. And he said, No way, Sheehan, you're crazy. I don't have a chance. I'm up against Jack Nicholson. And I said, I'll bet. And he said, OK, 100 bucks. I said, you're on. Oh, I don't even know why I did it. I don't know where this inspiration came from or this instinct that he was going to get it tonight. But he took me up on it. And as he walked back here in the press room, in front of all these cameras and everything, he pulled out five $20 bills and dished them out to me. And everyone Did you was, explain? Uh, he, he very graciously explained to the press, Sheehan's not taking a bribe. <laughs> a lot of people say that this is the precursor of the Oscars. Now, you can see that party of people out there milling about. This is the creme de la creme of everybody in Hollywood. What is the significance of the Golden Globes overall? I'm not so sure that, it, that it's anything more than coincidental, but for the past 10 years, there's been an uncanny similarity between the winners here and the winners that end up taking the big prizes on Oscar night. And uh, it, it, not, it doesn't happen every year, but it's happened, I think, about seven out of the last 10 years in, in an amazing way. You want to make any predictions for the Oscars at this point, or have we blown your mind completely tonight? I'll still predict a few good men. I think this, the foreign press, 88 people who write for newspapers and magazines around the world, th that's one kind of taste. But I think that those 4,000 people who vote for the Academy Awards, I think they're going to honor a, th a, a dramatic work of, of, of class and mastery like A Few Good Men more than they would uh, A Scent of a Woman or uh, Howard's End. David, I thank you very, very much. As you can see, this is unprecedented. We have never, ever had one of these shows end early. And I saw a familiar face and grabbed you out of the crowd. I thank you so much for the help. And I'm going to wander back. And uh, I see Mr. Pacino has just said goodbye, so I can't even go back and catch him. Thank you ever so much. Let me.
Let me, let me run back and ask him. Al, uh, we're running a little short. Would you like to give us a... Um... I'll take over. Give me the earphones. Would you, this is the television audience who's been interview? watching this show, and what goes on in this room back here? Who, can you turn around and show what these people face? What is this going on back here? This, uh, these are our people. Uh, I, I guess this is, this is something that I have, uh, I, I do find this unusual since I've never done it. But it is, a, it's, they're there, and I'm, there's a stage. Is this a frightening but, uh, experience for an actor who has lines all prepared? Yeah, of course. Thank you, but you so know much. what they say, a platform, you need a, all you need is a platform and a passion. So I'm, I got the platform, so let's see if I can get, you get the, the trophy. I got the trophy. Thank you ever Thank so, you much. so much. Al Pacino. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry we interrupted you. We needed your help. Uh, this is the press gathering in the back of the Hollywood Foreign Press. These people are talking to people all over the world. And once again, thank you all for the Hollywood Foreign Press for the 50th annual Golden Globes presentation from Hollywood.